Good morning to everyone. Welcome to EduSkills OED Made Easy. Our mission is to make you fall in love with OED, the whole learning process. If you're watching this on YouTube, kindly consider subscribing the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like our work. And please do share so that we may reach out to many more who are struggling to pack OED, especially those who are financially struggling to pack OED. EduSkills is a non-profit platform. We don't charge for any of our services. And you can find the links of previous Zoom sessions in the description below. So we have taken up one of the tasks, I don't remember which day, maybe the first day of this week, so that you are familiar with the text. And OET skills, OET 2.0 occupational English test. Today we are looking into reading part B. And we are not going to look into all the strategies. I'll just focus on, I'll identify, just tell you what are the strategies or signposts or clues, just to have a focus, you know, focus on strategy, signposts, clues. First one is focus on the paragraph structure. Focus on the topic sentence for gist or main idea. Ignore the subject complements so that you understand the sentence better. Look for opinions after the contrast word. Uh, focus on scale expressions. Look for hedging words in the question statement. Hedging words means the keywords, main words. Look for synonyms, synonymous language, uh, paraphrasing, and look for model verbs and cause and effect language. There is a mistake, a spelling mistake in synonymous language. Sorry for that. And text one. Question number one. This guidelines X type says that the nurse in charge, option A, must supervise the opening of the controlled drug cupboard. Option B, should make sure that all ward cupboard keys are kept together. Option C, can delegate responsibility for the cupboard key to another ward. Paragraph, medicine cupboard keys. The keys for the control truck cupboard are the responsibility of the nurse in charge. They may be passed to a registered nurse in order for them to carry out their duties and return to the nurse in charge. If the keys for the control truck cupboard go missing, the locks must be changed and the pharmacy informed and an incident, from, from incident form completed. The control truck cupboard keys should be kept separately. <laughs> Apart from in expect, expectational circumstances, the key should not leave the ward or department. If necessary, the nurse in charge should arrange for the keys to be held in a uh, neighboring ward or department by the nurse in charge there. Okay. Now, could you tell me uh, what is the hedging word here? Uh, nurse in charge. Okay. Nurse in charge. And if you go into the topic sentence here, you know the heading is here, medicine, key, cupboard keys. Cupboard. Topic sentence is here, right? <laughs> now, what is the key word here? Key. What is key. the main key. thing? What are they concerned key. about? Key. The key. 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 Yeah, cupboard keys key. or keys, okay. Cupboard, key, cupboard keys or the keys, whatever. That is the main key word. They're concerned about the keys. Medicine cupboard keys. So keys for the control drug cupboard are, you can say cupboard keys, no medicine cupboard keys, no issues. You can use a keyword or phrase. Uh, now question statement, then answer. QAT method, you know, question, answer options, then the text. Now what is important here? Must supervise the opening of the control drug cupboard. Should make sure that all board cupboard keys are kept together. Can delegate responsibility for the cupboard keys to another board. So, the main words are Master main words supervise. are supervise supervise yeah keys are kept keys are, key. are kept together okay keys are kept together and they can delegate delegate the responsibility that is these are the key expressions see right yes yes yeah yeah where do you have the answer they may be passed to a registered nurse in order for them to carry out their duties and return to the nurse in charge do you have these of any of the options? Would you find out as it was read? Supervising or keys are kept together. Now, keys should be kept separately. Yes. Here it says keys are kept together. Are together. together. Can delegate uh, responsibility okay. for the cupboard keys to another ward. If necessary, in the. Yeah. If the necessary, the nurse in charge should arrange for the keys to be held in neighboring ward or department. By the nice in charge know. there. And it is clearly given there. And this is known as inference. 
a type of question. Always you have this type of questions in part B, even in C. Inference means answer should be at the conclusion. That is at the end of the paragraph. That is the conclusion. So inference, as I told you, there are deduction and induction. Two things I explained to you. That's not exactly necessary. Maybe later on in, during the training session, if you want, you can ask me. I will explain it. So that is the conclusion. If necessary, the nurse in charge should arrange for the keys to be held in a neighboring ward that can uh, delegate responsibility for the cupboard keys to cupboard. another ward. Neighboring ward, another ward. Synonymous expression, delegate, right? Uh, yes. Father, the, can delegate. This, the delegate means uh, necessary. The, the, there mean that uh, delegate. And, Delegate over. means handover. Hand Dele I delegate you to post a notice in the main platform. Means giving power, giving charge. Okay, handing over. Delegate your responsibility to someone else in the platform. If you are not able to. So that is clear. Now here you have uh, the whole thing at the end of the paragraph. paragraph. Yeah. And here also, they may be passed to a registered nurse in order for them to carry out. Actually, the answer also is given here. In order for them to carry out their duties and return to the nurse in charge. It is there. Again, it is conclusion is given here. Whichever you find easy, you can. Once you are competent, you will find the answer in the second sentence itself. Then again, it's repeated, paraphrased in the last sentence. Is that fine? Any doubts yes, here? Father. No, it's okay. clear. Uh, so, clear, Father. Yeah. May be passed apart from the exception. Apart from in exceptional circumstances, the key should not leave the war or department. There is also another clue. Apart from in exceptional circumstances, means in exceptional circumstances, the keys can leave the war or department. Yeah. So that is being explained if necessary, the nurse. This sentence is explained in the last sentence. So I'm giving you a few more clues. Now text two. Question number two. When seeking consent for a post-mortem examination, it is necessary to option A, give a valid reason for conducting it. Option B, allow all relatives to opportunity to decline it. Option C, only raise the subject after death has occurred. Paragraph, post-mortem consent. A senior member of the clinical team, preferably the consultant in, in charge of the care, should raise the possibility of postpartum examination with the most appropriate person to give consent. The person consenting will need an explanation of the reason for the postmortem examination and what it hopes to achieve. The first approach should be made as soon as it is apparent that a postmortem examination may be desirable. As there is no need to wait until the patient has died, many relatives are more prepared for the consenting procedure if they have had time to think about it beforehand. Okay, thank you. What is the uh, hedging word here? Keyword or key expression in the question statement? Seeking consent for post mortem. Seeking consent. 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 Yeah, seeking consent. Okay, for post mortem. Yeah, definitely. And here, give a valid reason for conducting it. Now, from elimination method, can you eliminate using elimination method? The first principle of seven principles. Four. Yeah, allow all allow relatives. Allow all what is that? What is that? Absolute. 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 So that is done. That is gone. The option is gone immediately. Okay, you need not bother. And again, there is one more absolute. What is it? Only, 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 only another only, absolute. Only. only it's another absolute. So that option is also gone. Now, why you have to read paragraph? Now, question, answer statement, you can eliminate if you know those seven principles. And if you want to confirm, you can read the paragraph. And I usually suggest if you're competent enough, you go on, complete the whole the, uh, uh, B and C, then visit back, then go to, to reading such things, provided you know this. Uh, elimination method things okay now coming here now let's see whether it is right now as on with the elimination method i did not suggest it as the first option okay but just i'm telling you just for your awareness so this is the answer we'll have to confirm it whether that is the answer so here one more strategy what is this i'm just 
Ignoring this. What is this? Subject <laughs> complement. <laughs> Subject complement can be ignored. Okay, so you can read a senior member of the clinical team should raise the possibility of a postmortem examination with the post most appropriate person to give consent. The person consenting will need an explanation of the reasons for the postmortem. Does it give you a clue? Yes. Give a valid, valid reason for conducting. Yes, valid reason. Yes. yes answer is answer is here soon after the topic sentence. So there is no complications actually in these texts. I think this is from OET sample test material. Admins posted it. I am not very sure if it is from the sample material. Thank you, OET, for allowing me to use this material for teaching purposes. Hope okay. this is clear to you. Do you need yes. more verification? No, father. No, father. no What I am no, telling father. you, if you have patients, what happens? You will be able to immediately eliminate within fraction of seconds as soon as you read the options. And that will happen in 50 to 60% of the questions. And then you have to only ver uh, verify it or confirm that your option is correct, if need be. That could be done at the end of the examination. That's how you kill your greatest enemy, the time. See, this one is no need to wait until the patient has died. Here, only raise the subject after death was occurred. But here it is opposite. No, no need to wait until the patient has died. That is the C is the op opposite option. It's cool. Text three. Okay. The purpose of this notes about an incinerator is to first option help maximize its efficiency option b give guidance on certain safety procedures option c recommend a procedure for waste separation down the text hospital waste management materials with high fuel values such as plastics paper card and dry textile will help maintain high incineration temperature. If possible, a good mix of waste materials should be added with each batch. This can best be achieved by having the various types of waste material loaded into separate bags at source, that is wards and laboratories, and clearly labeled. It is not recommended that the operator sorts and mixes waste Prior to incineration, as this is potentially hazardous, it possible some plastic materials should be added with each batch of waste as this burns at high temperatures. However, care and judgment will be needed as too much plastic will create dense, dark smoke. Thank you. So, purpose of these notes about the incinerator is, so, what is the edging word? Purpose. 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 Purpose of incinerator Purpose. is the key thing here. Okay, incinerator also you can highlight if you want. Cool. Yes. And what is the purpose? Maximize its efficiency, give guidance on certain safety procedures, recommend a procedure for space operation. Okay. Recommended procedure. Wasted separation. Option C. Recommend C. Does it, that is, does it speak anything about waste separation? Option A. Option A. No, no. no. Well, no let's, let's, let's discuss. Now let's discuss C. Now we have A, B, C, all the three options. Now let's discuss. Recommend a procedure for waste separation. Does it speak anything? Now what is the key uh, topic sentence? Waste now I am. Now go cost incinerator general. Now I am just uh, striking out these things. Why? They are examples. Okay. So okay. materials with high fuel values will help maintain high incineration temperature. That is a topic sentence. And what is the message? What is the message from that sentence? The method to increase the how to maintain maximum. How to separate. Yeah. To, yeah. High, uh, high temperature means temperature. Incinerator needs maximum temperature. That's how it works efficiently. Materials with high fuel values itself says it increases the efficiency, increases temperature. So the message, the topic sentence says we are going to discuss about in, uh, enhancing the capacity of the incinerator or maximizing the efficiency of the incinerator. The topic sentence itself, that's what I said. Gradually, as you gain competence, you will understand materials with high fuel values will help maintain high incineration temperature. Thus, efficiency of the incineration process depends on the 
high temperature or highest temperature. Do you understand when you cook, maybe if you have used the firewood, do you know certain type of firewood will give more temperature so that the efficiency of cooking will be faster, better. Do you understand? Yes. So now yes, this sir. fuel values, paper, card, dry, textile, all these things are possibly put a, to mm -hmm. increase the temperature. If possible, a good mix of waste material should be added with each batch. Now, if possible, some plastic materials should be added with each batch of waste as this burns at high temperatures. However, care and judgment will be needed as to as too much plastic will create dense dark smoke. This is called the gist of the paragraph. The paragraph. Gist means the summary or the main idea of the paragraph, which is clearly given in the topic sentence. But if you have not reached that competency of the English, you have to confirm it from other things. Now, the thing is, does it speak anything about waste separation? For example, if you don't understand the topic sentence or the gist, you have to ask yourself, does this recommend any procedure for waste separation? Does it say you have to keep separate uh, uh, containers for plastic, separate containers for dry textile, and another container for paper? Does it speak about a procedure, waste separation procedure? No. Yes. No. No, yeah. no, yes. Father. No. No, no, Father. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yes, can explain. Yeah, you have the chance to argue. Let's, let's, let's discuss, okay? <laughs> Okay, there is telling yeah. this can be best achieved by having the various types of waste material loaded into separate bags at the source. What can be achieved? This can be means uh, high temperature. This mix of, yes. High insulation this temperature. Of, this mix, no. of, mix yeah. of waste material should be added with each batch. And this yeah. can be achieved by having the various types of waste material loaded into the separate bags at the source. Uh, yes, yeah. uh, that is that Watson. That is Watson Laboratories, and clearly yeah. labeled. Now, ultimately, what is it for? What is the aim? It, this separation. Uh, it, do, it is for the uh, best efficiency at the uh, area where uh, the inc incineration happening. Ah, uh, yeah. So that is the way, or that is the means to achieve this end, high incineration yes. temperature. That's why I said topic sentence is important. And here, controlling idea. What is the controlling idea? High incineration temperature. Efficient temperature. High incineration temperature. If you understand that, you know, the maximum, maximize its efficiency. So this is a topic sentence. To achieve high incineration temperature, what you should do, if possible, a good mix of waste material should be added with each batch. How can you get that mix of waste material? This can be best achieved by having the various types of waste material added into separate bags at source, that's what's in laboratories. Do you understand? Yes, but So the main idea is to have high incineration temperature. That is the topic sentence controlling idea. That's what I said. If you don't focus on the topic sentence and controlling idea, you will not understand what is it? The main gist or the idea. You see here, the question I said, focus on the topic sentence to understand gist or main idea. Second, sign post or strategy. Is that clear? Yes, yes. 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 Now, this, this, this definitely you have a challenge. This is the highest competency you require. Just or uh, main idea question. You don't have a direct answer here. The, uh, maybe the person who was uh, dialogue, uh, discussing about waste separation, it looks recommend a procedure for waste separation. They're recommending a procedure. But is it the main idea, purpose of these notes? No, that is not the purpose. No, purpose, is, no. purpose is to achieve high incident nice. temperature. <laughs> and this is the means for that. Okay? For example, the purpose is to keep you healthy and fit. For which you may go for a walk in the morning. You have a good diet. All these are means to keep you healthy and fit. So if you speak about health, and fitness, the purpose of the letter, I am writing a letter or a notice to you, giving you a notice, sending you a notice about your fitness, okay? Then I am telling you the means how you can achieve. Maybe every day you should have half an hour walk in the morning. You should eat factory food or you have to uh, rely more on vegetables. All these are not the purpose. Purpose is health, yeah. healthy okay. or fitness, health or fitness, okay? So you understand one word a doubt? So don't yes. confuse. Yes. This yes. will be the approach of many questions. On all the materials, they will have this approach. Whether you can understand the main idea, 
and distinguish it from sub ideas or examples or explanations. In other words, whether you are able to understand the topic sentence, main idea, and the supporting sentence and the developing sentences. So this is the top. First one is the topic sentence and other things are the supporting sentence and developing sentence explanations. So purpose is not the explanation or the examples. Okay. Hope it is clear. Yes, and if you remember, if you remember, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you re remember yes. the paragraph structure, yes. yeah, I have told you caution. At the end, there will be a caution. However, care and judgment will be needed. A caution is given. This is, if possible, some plastic materials should be added. That is the explanation. Okay, test four. Yeah. What does this manual tell us about the Shilpa's behavior? Option A, no such should be modeled to others. Option B, Shilpa is very kind and help, helpful to all the patients. Option C, doctors should be available to the patients all the time. Which is the answer? Uh, there is no B. paragraph. Plus one. No paragraph. No there paragraph. is paragraph. Yes. All, all. A, 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 a is the answer. A will be. A will be. A, A. Father, without See, paragraph, are, how can no, we without, pa without, without paragraph, you have to find yeah. out the answer. For example, we are speaking about nurses' behavior. Okay. So Shilpa, Shilpa, is, Shilpa is one of the nurses. Oh, now, what okay. does this manual or whatever it is, what, what does the manual tell us about Shilpa's behavior? <laughs> Shilpa is very kind and helpful to all the patients. Yes. Correct, no? Yes. Correct, right? Yes. Yes, father. Yes. Let's go to the question. This is the question now. Yeah. What does this manual? What does this manual tell us about? Option A. Patient should be try out the number of devices with their inhaler. Option B, the enable a patient to receive more of the prescribed medicine. Option C, children should be given spaces which are smaller than those for adults. Now, about, Option B. B. about, about B. spacer, spacer devices. 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 But, uh, the first one speaks about patient. Should patient. Patient. Third one speaks about children. 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 And which is the answer? B. 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 They, they means space and devices. Now, why is that you, you are not asking for passage or text? Very clear. It's clear. I wonder there is no paragraph. No, that's why I just stop. <laughs> yeah. Now you see, this is the paragraph. Now read the paragraph. What does this manual tell us about space and devices? Option A. Patient should try out a number of devices with their inhaler. Option B, they, en they enable a patient to receive more of the prescribed medicine. Option C, children should be given spaces which are smaller than those for adults. In paragraph, manual extract, spicer devices for asthma patients. Spicer devices remove the need for coordination between actu actuation of a Mm, pres pres pressure pressurized method close inhaler and inhalation. In addition, the device allows more time for evaporation of the pro propellant so that a large proportion of the particles can be inhaled and deposited in, in the lungs. Spacer device devices are particularly useful for patients with the poor inhalation technique for children, for patients requiring higher doses, for a noc nocturnal asthma, and for patients prone to candidiasis with the inhaled corticosteroids, the size of the spacer is important. The larger spacer with the one-way valve being most effective. It is important to prescribe a spacer device that is compatible with the method clause inhaler. Spacer devices should not be rega regarded as interchangeable. Interchange Patients should be advised to not to switch between spacer devices. Actually, you have the answer. There is no doubt because it is asking about spacer, spacer device. device. Spacer devices. So actually, you cannot speak about patients now. You cannot speak about 
patients, you cannot speak about children. You okay. have to speak about special Spacer. devices. And yeah. here, these two are like uh, uh, new, uh, active gender, patients and children, whereas about spacer devices a neutral gender. They enable a patient. They stands for spacer devices. And normally, the spacer devices remove the need for coordination between the uh, actuation of a pressurized meter, close inhaler, and inhalation. Now, in addition is an important word here. Why? Always, these transition words are important. Normally, like contrast words, normally, if you don't find the answer in the topic sentence, you have the answer in the next sentence. Do you have answer here? Yes, father. Answer is there. Yes, yes. Larger proportion. Larger proportion. Larger proportion. Larger proportion. Larger proportion is the synonym of? More of. More. Okay. So the answer is here. Larger proportion of the particles. Particles is medicine. Is it clear? Particles can be inhaled and deposited in the lungs. They are inhaling the medicine, the particles in the inhaler, right? Yes, father. Yes, father. Yeah. Yes, father. Father. Are particularly useful for patients with poor inhalation technique. Other things are the explanations given. So uh, what I'm telling you, if you are competent, you need not look into the paragraph at all. Even a previous uh, text I showed you. Here, exactly, it says patients should try to... They are not speaking about what does this manual tell us about spacer devices. That is important, about spacer devices. What patients should do is not about the spacer device. Okay? What children should be given is not about spacer device. Is that clear? Yes, yes father. Yes, yes, father. Yes, yeah. father. So beware of uh, this in addition and all those things. Okay? Text five. The email is reminding staff that option A benefits to patients of using bed rails can outweigh the dangers. Option B number of bed rails related accident has reached unacceptable levels. Option C, patient's condition should be central to any decision about use of bed rail. Text to all staff, subject, use of bed rails. Please note the following. Patients in hospital may be at risk of falling from bed, from bed for many reasons, including poor mobility, dementia or delirium, visual impairment, and the effects of treatment or medication. Bed rails can be used as safety devices intended to reduce risk. However, bed rails are not appropriate for all patients and their, their use involves risk. National data suggests around 1,250 patients injure themselves on bed rails annually, annually, usually scrapes and bruises to their lower, lower leg. Statistics show 44,000 reports of patients fall from bed annually resulting in 11 deaths, while deaths due to bed rails entrapment occur less than one every two years and are avoidable if the relevant advice is followed. Staff should continue to take great care to avoid bedroom entrapment, but be aware that in hospital settings, there may be a great risk of harm to patients who fall out of bed. Okay. Now the topic sentence says patients in hospital may be at risk of falling, falling from bed. That is a key idea. So the thing is speaking about the email is reminding staff means it should be something connected with the key idea, topic sentence. So these bed rails can be used as safety devices intended to reduce risk. That result says bed rails are good, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Bed rails yeah. are good. Now there is a comparison, and what is the strategy used here? One to fifty. I asked you to focus on some strategies. Numbers. 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 Yeah. Now, here numbers. they are playing with the numbers. Eleven. Yeah. Eleven. That's uh, less than one. Yeah. One every two one years. Every two years. Every two years. Yeah. yeah. Entrapment happens less than one every two years. So they are asking benefits to patients of using bed rails can outweigh the dangers. Number of bed rail related accidents has reached unacceptable levels. Patients' condition should be central to any decision about the use of bed rails. When they are speaking about bed rails, this could be only exception. Patients' condition should be taken care of. Now, 
the deaths are national data size around 100 and uh, 1250 patients injure themselves on bed rails annually whereas here it is 44000 and here what happens the injury is bruises 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 eleven deaths yeah. eleven deaths patients fall from bed annually resulting in eleven deaths mm -hmm. so which is greater which is better scabs and bruises or deaths Scraps and bruises. Yeah. yeah, here less than one every year. Bed rail entrapment occur less than one every two years. Which is also avoidable. Whereas here it happens. Benefits to patients of using bed rails can outweigh the dangers. Benefits are more or dangers are more? Benefits are more. Benefits are more. Yeah. Okay. This is clear now. This is again gist. Gist of the paragraph. You can just find the numbers that is easiest for, for you. Numbers 1 to 50 and 44,000, which is greater. And uh, just annually two getting bruises and 11 deaths, which is greater. So you have to understand the gist of it. In such cases, you have to read the whole text. That's why I say other cases, you have to save your time. And uh, without reading, if possible, you can find out the answers. Father, you mean the yes. email like that uh, paragraph, you have to read all the paragraph like that? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's not email or whatever the nature of the text. But if mm -hmm. the answer is uh, asking about the gist of the paragraph, main means the main idea of the paragraph. If you are competent enough, you can presume or you can speculate from the, the topic sentence. Okay. Here, for example, they are saying bedrails can be used as safety devices intended to reduce risk. They are saying risk is, re, risk is reduced by using bed rails. So here you cannot say number of bed rail accidents has reached unacceptable levels. That is contrast, no? Okay. So that's how you can speculate if you are competent enough to. Mm -hmm. Patients in hospital may be at risk of falling from bed, but the solution is given here. Bed rails can be used as safety devices in, intended to reduce risk. Means it reduces risk. That is the topic idea giving, given. So you cannot say unacceptable levels. Bed related accidents has reached unaccepted levels. Again, it is it's absolute expression. Absolute. Right? That also you can if you can understand, you can go to that. Patients consider to be central to any decision about the use of bed rails. So the email is reminding this only a caution. It can only be a caution, but the topic is use of bed rails, right? That is the mm -hmm. heading I said. You have to be con you should bother you should concentrate on the heading and subheadings. So use of bed rails is the concept here. It's not the patients. Okay. It is not okay. the patients. Please. Is that clear? Father. Yes. Clear, Father. Yes, Father. Text six. Okay. What does this extract from a handbook tell us about anaphylactic drugs? Uh, option A, they may be useful for patients who are not fully uh, responsive. Option B, injections of those, those drugs will limit the need for physiotherapy. Option C, care should be taken if they are used over an extended period. Paragraph, anaphylactic drugs. Respiratory stimulants uh, and anaphylactic drugs have a limited place in the treatment of ventilatory failure in patients with a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. They are effective only when given by intravenous injection or infusion and have a short duration of action. Their, uh, their use has large. I think that's enough, no? That's enough. Let's see. What does mm. this uh, extract from a handbook tell us about analeptic drugs? Yes. Here you have they means analeptic What does it speak about analeptic? As I said, about uh, earlier we had something, no? About something. So, same thing here about. So, they, they're not speaking about injections of these drugs. They are speaking they directly not. about this one. Care should be taken. Again, this is a caution, I said. Care should be taken is a caution, which cannot be the answer. If you remember the paragraph structure that we learned, that is the last part of it. Care, care, caution is the last part of it. Normally, that will not be the answer. Here, what is the topic sentence? Have it. It is uh, not fully responsive patient means the uh, vol voluntary this ventilatory yes. failure patients. Uh, they mean yeah, yeah. So if you understand that language, topic sentence itself gives answer. If not, what happens? 
if not we wanted to full read full paragraph yeah. and we are reading yeah. our time yeah then you can understand go, go into the details they are effective only when given the intervention so all these things are there now, see this sentence again explains however if you don't understand look for a contrast word occasionally limited use you no know, when ventilatory support is contraindicated and in patients with hypocapnic yeah, yeah. respiratory failure who are becoming drowsy and catamus respiratory once in short term may arouse patients sufficiently to cooperate this is explanation okay. again yeah even that uh, says that says, says not <laughs> fully responsive patients right Uh, yeah even see they are telling us used over an extended period but they are saying us yeah. in the in the first sentence in the short period uh, exactly. short duration so here it is uh, the ending word here is extended period here it is mm, a short, short duration of action means yeah, uh, the, short duration of action yeah what is that expression time time expression time expression time, time expression you can time use it as a time expression as well as a short period and extended period so very fact you see extended period you can say it is a is opposite to short duration so you can use various strategies that's what i'm telling if you are like competent enough to understand these topics and then you don't know to use anything else then you can go into uh, this one the, to eliminate this one to straight away go into the competence that's what i'm telling once you gain real competency you can straight away go to the answer otherwise you have to go elimination now this uh time uh, time expression can be used to eliminate third one right not to find the answer eliminate the third option c option you can use this time expression and also this the whole explanation tells not fully responsive people it's uh, occasionally it can be used however after the, the contrast expression you have the explanation you have the answer and further b is opposite opposite answer b that will limit the need for physiotherapy combined with active combined with the physiotherapy the other yes, one is sir. opposite yeah normally they give yes, one opposite yeah now the thing is like you need not go into all these details what i suggest you have to complete the whole test then you have to come back if you have a doubt just tick it and go then you can verify these things because you are not bothered about elimination you should be bothered about finding out the correct answer using the strategies elimination is the last option if you don't find the answer go for elimination because you will not have time to eliminate to read everything and to eliminate it will take you at least 3 to 4 minutes because here they give the not fully responsive means ventilator because we sometimes when read suddenly we cannot click that's the problem okay okay now that is the competency of language and your medical knowledge if you have medical knowledge you know this topic sentence speaks about this right yes. could not fully responsive means ventilator, ventilator failure ventilator failure patient with a chronic obstructive yeah. pulmonary that tells it's they are not fully responsive that's okay if you don't understand that you can go for a elimination like extended period a short duration then also you can look into this sentence however after contrast it clearly says occasionally when ventilatory support is contraindicated and the whole thing say, say speaks about not fully responsive right yes. becoming drowsy or comatose respiratory relents in the short term may arouse patients sufficiently to cooperate and clear their secretions occasionally they may be useful that is the paraphrasing of occasionally useful done what is yes, the difficulty sir. here do you need to visit any any of the slides the procedure is normally my explanation then revisit any slides that's why i asked do we need to revisit any slides then somebody on yeah. like then we go into q and a you cannot gain skill from attending any sessions no teacher on earth can give you skills skills comes by practice self practice skill case skill cannot be transferred skill has to be gained by practice by consistent practice underline consistency knowledge can be given i am giving you the knowledge how to analyze how to understand now you have to practice based on that maybe take the same material and practice don't look into the screenshots but try to analyze yourself and try to understand or go, go google and convert into your mother tongue see i have taught you around 12 strategies now you don't require all the 12 strategies for example once you gain competency most of the answers you can understand from the maybe a good deal of answers you can understand from the question options the options themselves say so as i said they are speaking about a device uh, options are one is about the device other one is about children about another one is about patients so immediately you know so that is the first step 
If you are not competent for that, then go into the topic sentence and the paragraph structure. Normally, the answer option based on the topic sentence or the controlling idea in the topic sentence must be the answer. 99%. And as I taught you, different paragraph structures. Today's uh, two or three questions come under this problem, solution, and a caution. And caution will not be the answer normally. Exceptions can happen, but rarely it happens. That's why I said 99%. Normally, the controlling idea, the answer option which is based on the controlling idea, which is included in the topic sentence, will be the right answer. That requires a little patience and you need to create an English culture or environment around you. That's, what, that's why we have the platform. Whenever you are free, just get into the platform and start discussing something. Automatically, you get into that English culture. That's why we have tried to give you uh, a non-L1 learning partner. I think the majority of you have got beginners, not the others. Beginners might have got them. Others can inform the admin panel. They will arrange for it. Okay. So you father, want to take up? Uh, mm -hmm. I have one doubt, Father. Yeah. Absolute now clear. But what about the inference? I understand that inference is like a contour or something, but it is not so much clear for me. Inference means you can understand in simple terms conclusion. So inference, there are two methods. One is deduction. Other one is induction. Deduction means from general to particular. For example, you say all Malayali nurses are good. First statement, general statement. Second statement, Suni Jones is a Malayali nurse. Third statement, conclusion. Inference is this. Therefore, Suni Jones is good. All Malayali nurses are good, general statement. Then Suni Jones is a Malayali. Therefore, Suni Jones is good. That is deduction from general to particular. You write down and find out the common factors. In all those three lines, there are different common factors. And I analyze that. It's very beautiful. All Malayali nurses are good. So Malayali nurses and good main words there. Then second one, Suni Jones is a Malayali nurse. So first Malayali nurse and here Malayali nurse connected. Third one, therefore, Suni Jones is good. The good in the second keyword in the expression in the first statement and the third statement, conclusion, reference is connected. So all the three sentences have connection. That is deduction. Mostly what you do is induction. First statement, particular to general. Okay, just opposite. Or Suni Jones is bad. Okay, only for exam sake, example sake. Okay, which doesn't mean. Suni Jones is a bad nurse. Second statement, Suni Jones is a Malayali nurse. Therefore, all the Malayali nurses are bad. Did you get it? Suni Jones is a bad nurse. Suni Jones is a Malayali nurse. Therefore, all Malayali nurses are bad nurse. This is the common problem in our relationships. When you tag some community, some people, uh, somebody did something wrong, then you entirely tag them as bad. Did you understand? So the conclusion, answer will be at the conclusion. Is that clear? Thank you, Father. Yes. yes. Explain very well. You, but you don't require that detailed in, uh, information about inference. If you understand that is the conclusion, normally inference type of questions are, the answer is normally located at the end or in the topic sentence as well as paraphrase it at the end. And exceptional questions, we call another one, exception-based questions are always the answer is after the contrast word. Exception-based questions. That's why I said OET is very easy because each question is based on some strategy. Exception-based question means the answer is always after the contrast word. All nurses are good. However, there are some people who behave very badly with the patients. So the answer will be definitely after the however. They are exception-based questions. And just topic sentence-based questions are questions on main idea or gist. And inference-based questions, normally you have the answer at the conclusion. And immediately, soon after this session, don't try to take a text and understand everything. You will not. It takes time. Gradually, you have to raise your general competency of English for which you have to interact. Maximum interaction is required because you, I know most of you are not able to interact with your 
family members in english i don't know whether you are able to if you are able to that's good well and good with your kids or others if you have an atmosphere of that sort if it's not there whenever you are free enter into the platform and type something send some audios that will give you confidence and competence thank you father welcome